Bonjour, comment ça va? Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, I am here to share with you another conversion story of a saint uh, to help us during this season of Lent that we also may have conversion in our lives. During this Lent, we have been seeing many conversion stories of saints who all had conversion in one point or the other way in their life which definitely helped them to turn from darkness to light from sinful life to um holy life however one single conversion can be uh, a turning point for someone uh, to come back to god but that one turning point is not enough for all your life to lead a holy life therefore the saint that we are about to see today is suggesting a new meaning for conversion that is we need conversion every single day every moment when we are having temptation to choose wrong or a sin we need to have conversion to choose god to choose holiness therefore the saint that we are about to see today is inviting every one of us uh, to have conversion every single day therefore uh, it is very clear that it was not a single conversion that made uh, every sinner to become a saint but every single day they had a conversion and coming back to god which made them to become a saint so it is very obvious that the saint that we are going to see today had conversion from his sinful life or looking at the sinful life wanted to embrace holy life that one conversion was not enough for him but he had many conversions on his way to holiness therefore he did struggle he did work hard he did fight very hard against the evil of temptation and overcame all those temptations and became uh, a very great saint and also became a model for many more young people and people who are looking to become holy uh, in their lives that saint is saint benedict Saint Benedict was born at Nursia, Italy in 480. His family was wealthy and he was educated in Rome at a time when barbarian invasions and moral decline seriously threatened to destroy the city and the Roman Empire. when st benedict went to rome for higher education he realized that he was standing between the world of pleasures and promises of god he had an important duty to choose between the world and god in rome he had an all access pass to the best of everything he could walk to the circus maximus which was like a nascar the colosseum which was like a super bowl or the forum which was like the mall of america Ed Benedict's biography says 
He found many of the students there, abandoning themselves to the voice. In his desire to please God alone, he gave up home and inheritance and resolved to embrace the religious life. Benedict decided to follow Christ, saying yes to Christ. That means saying goodbye to the worldliness and all the evil things. Saint Benedict went to a town called Subiaco, set on a mountain 40 miles from Rome. There he lived in a cave in the side of a cliff for three years. Sometimes a raven brought him food. People heard about this holy man and his holy life. Soon more than 140 monks were living with him in a monastery at Subiaco. We are very busy every day praying, clearing the land, planting crops, teaching school, feeding the poor. Benedict's motto was pray and work. Saint Benedict and his monks built a large monastery on Monte Cassino in Italy on the top of a mountain. It became the home of thousands of monks. Later, they went out to teach all through Europe. They were called Benedictines. Today they have monastery all throughout the world. The Benedictine rule inspired monastic life in the Western Church for centuries to come. Monasticism and its monasteries were instrumental in preserving Western civilization in modern Europe and the West. A wise spiritual leader and the work of miracles, Benedict's life and works profoundly affected the spirituality and the life of the church and Western civilization. Benedict died near the altar where he received the Blessed Sacrament while his monks held up his arms in prayer. We always learned that the saints did have conversion in their lives, turning back from their uh, sinful life to holy life. While we learned that they all had a conversion, the little we knew that they did have conversion every single day, trying to better themselves. As Mother Teresa said, every saint is a sinner who is trying every single day to become holy. May we be never discouraged for having tried many times uh, to become holy and then finding ourselves keep falling back into our sinful life again and again. May we never be discouraged, but let, rather let us look at the example of the holy life of St. Benedict who kept on trying who has kept on uh, fighting against his temptations, uh, the evil ones, and kept coming forward closer to God. Through the conversion story of Saint Benedict, we come to understand that one single conversion will help us to turn away from sinful life to holy life, but Every single conversion that we have every single day will what help us to stay on the track and move forward in the direction towards God.
May Saint Benedict pray for us and help us in our difficult moments when we struggle with our daily temptations and uh, in our fight with the evil one. May he support us, pray for us and help us that we also may have um, conversions every single day and come closer to God. May Saint Benedict pray for us. God bless you and have a beautiful day.